<clears throat> Good morning, my fellow brothers. Tuesday, September 19th, 2023. I commend you men who are walking the spiritual journey. You're retaining your seed. You are leveling up, becoming souls of righteousness. And you are striving to be a better person. Someone better than what you were when you were living in the darkness, looking at the dirty images on the phone, on the internet. Something called you to be someone else. Guys, today we're looking at this guy here, this old man. I don't know if you'd call him old, but... He looks very young, but he's probably in his 50s. I'm 53. The title of this video is Semen Retention Led Me to Fasting. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that. I told you guys that as we get closer to a, a one-year anniversary of semen retention, that uh, I would update you with sort of a reflection on the year a little bit early but I want to make a video on each topic so today the topic is fasting now I've never really fasted prior in my life except when I would get sick I wouldn't want to eat and I would fast two three days if I had the flu and now I know why I didn't want to eat the body wants to heal itself guys it can't heal itself if it's constantly digesting food. It, your digestive system <clears throat> has to work and your body needs energy to digest food. Just like when you release your seed, you're releasing energy and then it needs energy to rebuild that seed. So if you're releasing that seed daily, you've got your body in that loop. And so that's why you're tired with low energy. Anyway, let's get back to the point of fasting, guys. I've made some videos on fasting. I'll put them in the, some links in the description so you don't have to search for them if you want to listen to them. But I don't remember what day it was, but uh, somehow in my st strive to get ripped like this guy, not I don't need to get big like him, but I want to get ripped like him. And so as I reflect on this journey of semen retention, when I first started out, I was 186 pounds. Obviously, more overweight than I realized. I am six feet tall, and I thought that was an okay weight. But now, today I just got on the scale at 157 pounds. And I still have flabby body fat on me. Now, obvious, now not, obviously not as much as I used to, but I'm not ripped like this guy. And it's possible to get this way. You can through nutrition. It's a little bit harder for me because I'm battling diabetes. And my whole goal of fasting is not only to get ripped, but to reverse my diabetes and make myself insulin sensitive again. When you're a diabetic, it's hard to get ripped because instead of using the glucose from the food, the body stores it as fat because it can't get absorbed into the cells like a normal person. But I digress. This journey led me into fasting. I can't remember exactly when, but I was plateaued at about 100 and what was it? was at 170 pounds, I couldn't break through that. And not sure what inspired me, but I started watching fasting videos on YouTube. And I have some fasting stories on those videos that I've linked in the description, so I won't get too much into detail. Except that once I began fasting, guys, I'm, it broke that plateau of 170 pounds. So is fasting beneficial? Yes. And I 
have to tell you, it's been a game changer for me. It is an amazing tool with some amazing physical benefits, and I'm still searching and discovering the spiritual benefits. One thing I can tell you, you get some real mental clarity after about uh, 36 hours of fasting. It's amazing. Your mind becomes sharp and focused. You become way in tune with nature. You're noticing flowers and plants on the side of the road, the sunsets. It's like you feel God's presence in everything that is alive. And your mind gets clear to where you're not always got these thoughts running through your mind all the time. And you just feel like you're a conscious being. You feel your soul as aware and you feel a presence of awareness and of your, your life force, guys. And your mind kind of clears up. Yeah, you still get thoughts, but it's easy to focus and it's easy to cast those thoughts away, which sometimes are negative. You don't need those thoughts in your mind running through your mind about your past mistakes or worrying about your future. You just need to be present and living now. And fasting's taught me to do that. Also, guys, of course, you get the physical benefits from fasting. After about well, 18 to 20 hours, your, your glycogen that's been stored in your liver from the food is burned up. And then the body's like, okay, where do I get my energy? There's no food. So it starts to burn fat, you guys. And that's what, what I want to do to get ripped. You have to burn the fat off. There's no way you can burn fat by eating, yeah, you can eat less calories than you burn, but the, the fat burn is going to be slow and long. It could take years. If you really want to burn a lot of fat, you got to fast for, I would say, at least 20 to 24 hours of fasting. And I noticed for me personally, where I really start dropping the weight and seeing the physical changes in my body in the mirror is after 36 hours, you guys. That's the, uh, the, the sweet spot for me. Now, everyone's different. Everyone has different bodies, different levels of health. I'm a diseased blood of diabetes, so you may see some benefits at, who knows, 12 hours if you're a young guy in good health. But fasting, guys, it's amazing. I, I mean, I don't want to go on forever about the benefits. You can watch YouTube videos, but... It recycles old dead cells when there's no food. It, it goes into repair mode. I used to have, for over a year, this... Uh, I pulled a uh, something in my shoulder when I was doing lateral delt raises in the gym with the barbells. And it's not 100% healed, but guys, since fasting, it's like almost gone, the pain. It was with me for a year. It wouldn't heal that shoulder, that right shoulder. Um... You lose weight, you feel good. And I know it sounds weird, but when you're not eating, you have more energy, you guys, it's crazy. If you could get over that first day of not eating, get over the hunger, the hunger will go away, you gain energy. So you have energy from not releasing your seed, you have energy from fasting. You really do level up, guys. Well, I think that's about all I want to say today about fasting, guys. But at this point in the uh, journey, spiritual journey approaching one year, um, I wanted to let you know that was a something uh, of a surprise to me and that came into my life in uh, fasting. Um, Hey, where are you guys? I know Undress, my brother, you're out there listening. God bless you. I'm praying for you. Where are you, Jason Brown? I haven't heard from you in a while. I've been praying for you. I know there's Richard. You're out there. There's some other guys. I'm reaching a few of you. I appreciate you listening to me. 
I want to edify you. I want you to learn from my mistakes. I want to encourage you. I want you to be filled with the Lord's peace and joy. Have a good day, you guys. Talk to you soon.